question that I often get from small not-for-profit organizations is how do I track the balance for multiple funds or accounts when I only have one bank account? So perhaps they have several different funds, but they only have one bank, so the, the money's all together in one bank account. There's, there's actually two pieces to that. One is the amount of money on hand itself for that particular fund, and that's what we're gonna look at today. In a separate video, I'm going to take a look at how do I track income and expense for several different funds, even though it's all for the one organization. So let's look at uh, keeping that fund balance and how do we know how much money is there. This is not a perfect solution. Uh, I'm sure if you were to uh, invest in industry-specific software, that is accounting software that was built specifically for not-for-profits, they would have a better way of addressing this. But for small organizations using QuickBooks, this should work. So I'm going to go to my chart of accounts. And I'm going to create a new account. It's going to be a bank type. I'm going to call this one building fund. And I'm going to make it a sub account of the one checking account that I have. It should look like that. Now I want to create one more. This one, also a bank account. I'm going to call this one humanitarian aid. It's also going to be a sub account of my one checking account. So that's what my account list should look like then. Now, in order to make this work, when I create a deposit, so let's say the two payments I have in the system here, this one on the top is for the uh, building fund, and the second one is for the humanitarian aid fund. So I'm gonna select just the one, pull that into the deposit window, and then I'm going to select the building fund account and I will save that. So let's create the other one, and let's send the other one to humanitarian aid. So I select the payment, make sure that I'm depositing to the right sub-account, and save deposit. Now you can see that can get difficult if you have checks that are, one check that's written to maybe several different funds or something like that. So you'll just have to see if that can work in your organization because you will have to have a separate deposit for each fund. You can only deposit to one of those sub accounts at a time. You cannot split one bank deposit among several bank accounts. So that will be one limitation. Let's look at the expense side. So if I create a check, I want to make sure that I'm creating that check out of the correct sub-account. So in this case, let's write a check to uh, out of the humanitarian aid account. We uh, will send that to an organization called Wheat for Poor Countries. It's uh, supplying food in some disaster area somewhere around the world. And we're going to create that and we have a humanitarian aid expense account. So that's not the bank account, that's an expense account in order to write that, that check to. And then I'll click set close. Okay, so here's, here's what that does for you. If I look at a balance sheet, then you can see that I have the one main checking account, and then I have an amount of money in building fund. I have an amount of money in the humanitarian aid fund. And as long as I'm really careful when I make deposits and when I write checks, that I'm using the correct sub-account, 
then those balances will remain correct. The other piece of this that makes it work, the reason they have to be sub accounts there, is when I go to, let's just use the icon here, when I go to reconcile that checking account, then I want to reconcile the main account. And when I do that, let me just put a number in there for the ending balance. Then all of my transactions show. Here are those two deposits that we just made. This went to the building fund, and this $927 went to humanitarian aid. Here is the check that we wrote. We wrote that out of the humanitarian aid sub-account, but I can still reconcile my checking account because if I select the main account rather than the sub-accounts when I use the reconcile window, I'll be able to check those transactions off and match my bank statement. So, like I say, it's not a perfect solution. I don't think you're going to find a perfect solution unless you invest in much more expensive, uh, much more capable nonprofit software. But for small organizations using QuickBooks, I think that will help you out and will help you keep those fund balances. Thanks for watching.